Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sashrikal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Jaden. <laughs> I know. It's a first. Don't be scared, guys. Anjali is fine. She's actually at school, but we came home early because Chandrian 2 is getting ready to land on the moon in like less than an hour. Like, we are so excited, mm -hmm. and we wanted to put together a quick video for you so we could live chat, and then we're going to watch it and chat and um, hopefully experience it with you. I know you guys are probably up in the middle of the night watching this because it's just an amazing, amazing accomplishment, mm -hmm. and we're so excited. So Anjali will join us later, and when, we, when we're live watching it, she'll be here soon. So, but... We are going to do a quick little video. Chandrian 2 prepares to land on the moon. Mm -hmm. And so this is just like a little bit of what it's going to do. And it's just so amazing, mm -hmm. right? We're so excited. We watched the launch. Mm -hmm. And we've been, you know, you guys have been sending us clips of the moon. And we've been trying to keep up to date. And we're so happy. Mm -hmm. Jaden even has, I don't know if you guys can see it. Moon shirt. His moon shirt on. And it glows in the dark. Mm -hmm. So he loves this shirt. Mm -hmm. So he wore it just because he knew Chandrian was landing today. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start this up. Mm -hmm. We saw the lunch. It was awesome, right? At around 1.55 a.m. tonight, ISRO's Chandrayaan 2 mission around will create around. history when it lands on the lunar then surface. What makes this landing different mm -hmm. from the others yeah. that have happened so far is that this will be the first time any nation has reached this close to the moon's south pole. Vikram Chandrayaan 2's lander that separated awesome. from the orbiter on Monday has already performed two maneuvers to lower its altitude for a perfect touchdown between 1.30 am and 2.30 am on Saturday. Touchdown will be preceded by some very precise maneuvers that Vikram will conduct. At roughly 1.38 a.m., rough braking will begin when Vikram is about 30 kilometers away from the lunar surface. Ten minutes later, the lander will begin fine braking at a distance of less than 8 kilometers from the surface of the moon. Two minutes later, at 1.50 a.m., Vikram lander will begin local navigation in its bid to find the perfect spot for landing near the moon's south pole. It will also send its first image of the moon's surface to Earth another couple of minutes later yes. at 1.52 yeah. a.m. And a minute after that, at 1.53 a.m., Vikram will make a soft landing on the moon, creating history and crossing a very important milestone in India's space sojourn. And the rover is inside the lander, so both are now orbiting around the moon. The orbiter will continue in its determined orbit. The lander is coming closer and closer to the moon as it is moving across the moon. So the thrusters have to do the reverse of what was done initially because once it is caught by the gravity of the moon falling down, we don't want it to go and impact. So the thrusters are going to decelerate, decelerate, decelerate so that there is a soft landing on the moon and the lander settles down. And before this, the in the orbit, there was a check also to see that what is the location it should land in, exact location, just to avoid any mishaps. And then following that, I think the opening of the door and the ramp and the rover to come out, take its little, little steps around in that region, the lander also with all of its payloads to scan material around it, and the rover with the two payloads on it uh, to do very detailed study of rocks, minerals in that region. It will be Vikram's wow. decision on where wow. exactly it so wants exciting. to make the final landing by studying the lunar surface when it would be 100 meters above it. If everything goes well, it will touch down 78 seconds later. ISRO had chosen two landing sites, a primary landing site and a secondary one, each with two landing zones. The preferred landing site mm -hmm. is between two craters, Manzinus and Sympelius, about 350 kilometers north of the South Pole. At a height of 100 meters from the lunar surface, Vikram will hover for a few seconds before the final descent. There are several considerations that have been taken in deciding the landing sites. The most important among them is that both sides should have the sun's elevation at more than 6 degrees on landing day to ensure enough illumination for the lunar craft to capture images. If it can land on the first zone, within 65 seconds, Vikram will reach a height of 10 meters directly. 
However, if it chooses the second landing site, Vikram will use 40 seconds to first descend to a height of 60 meters, then drop to 10 meters in the next 25 seconds. Once Vikram reaches an altitude of 10 meters from the surface, it takes about 13 seconds for touchdown. Vikram's final descent from the lunar orbit would have started at an altitude of 35 kilometers. Pragyan rover will move out to roam the lunar surface. This will be between 5.30 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. Pragyan will carry out research, including a thorough mapping of the moon's resources, looking for the presence of water and clicking high-resolution images. Actually, Chandrayaan-2 is, uh, though we call it as a Chandrayaan-2 spacecraft, actually it is uh, three spacecraft put into one. Okay? So, uh, one is uh, the orbiter, which will keep going around the moon. Uh, initially, ISRO planned that it will go, keep going around the moon for one year, but now we think that uh, most likely it will keep going around the moon for two years because there are adequate uh, fuel. And the second is what is called as the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover combo. When it lands on moon, the belly will open and the rover will come and uh, crawl on the surface of moon. Vikram and Pragyan's See? lifespan is 14 That's days. Cool. After that, there will be another 14 days of darkness on the area of the moon where they are and the temperature could dip to minus 170 degrees Celsius. Chandrayaan-2 orbiter's lifespan really cool. is estimated at one year, but it may keep working longer. As the world waits with bated breath to witness the historic spectacle, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will see the historic landing live yeah, from Israel's controls along with some school children. Yeah. Chandrayaan 2's success will make India only the fourth country after the US, Russia and China to pull off a soft landing mm. on the moon. With inputs from Aruna Thakur, Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I want more. I know. We'll get to see more when when we watch it. So in a little bit, it's uh, 321 here. So I think mm -hmm. in a few minutes, they're going to start um, live streaming it and we mm -hmm. can see it, right? So this was amazing. This is such a big accomplishment, not mm -hmm. only for India, but the rest of the world. I know the U.S. is looking to collaborate um, in NASA and, you know, they... India already found water on the surface of the moon, and that was amazing. Mm -hmm. And now if they, you know, bring land on the moon, on the south side of the moon, and bring these images back and information, you know, hopefully scientists all over the world will gain some knowledge on it, and it will just, I mean, it's just such a proud moment for India mm -hmm. and everyone in the world, right? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? My favorite part is, like, when <laughs> my shoes off. You like the launching mm -hmm. part of it, yeah. But then they have this cool little machine that once it lands, it goes and drives around the moon and takes some data and some pictures, and we'll get to see a lot more. So it's really exciting. So mm -hmm. we can't wait for it. If you haven't already seen, we did the Chandrayaan launch way back when it launched, so check that video out, right? Mm -hmm. And um, making history tonight, guys. So we're so excited, so proud. We're praying, um, you know, everything works out perfectly. So I hope lots of information gets mm -hmm. brought back. And uh, we're going to watch it. And we're going to live video us watching it because we don't really know how to live stream yet. Okay. <laughs> we're not that tech savvy yet. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button down below. Because the more you like it, the more you YouTube shares our videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Right. And join our wonderful family, and Anjali will show up in any minute, mm -hmm. and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. We'll actually see you soon, because we're going to start mm -hmm. watching this. All right. Bye. Bye.